and do a couple examples of each. So I'm going to start with L1, so L is percents, one, what percentage is illustrated. Let's go ahead and start with this example. If we've got this hole here, it looks like 10 by 10, but let's do a quick check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means it's a 10 by 10 grid. That means that there are 100 total squares. And here we've got a row of 10, another of 10. So that's 20, 21, 22, 23. 23, well that's a terrible 3, out of 100 is the percent that's shaded. So now we know any percentage is out of 100, so our percent is just the numerator. So here we get 23, and it does want you to write the percent sign. So 23%. Ta-da! Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to try a couple others. Well, let's go ahead and look. Here, this one's pretty easy too. This looks like a 10 by 10 grid also. So one, two, two full rows, that's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's 27 out of 100, so 27%. Okay, so here are the ones that I think have been throwing people off a little bit. One, we've got one whole shape here. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are 10 equal parts. So this is out of 10. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 shaded. So that's 9 out of 10. When we want to take a fraction and turn it into a percent, we can multiply to create a fraction out of 100. So if we multiply this by 10, oh my gosh, this is hard, 10 over 10 we get 90 out of 100, which gives us wow, 90%. Ta-da! Here, the entire shape is shaded. So what percent would that be? Of course, 100%. Okay, let's do one more. <clears throat> so I've got this pentagon here that's split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there must be ten. Yep, ten pieces. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of ten are shaded, and we can just do some mental math here. 7 out of 10 is 7 tenths, which gives us 70 percent. 